Right, so my preferred 11 for um, Tuesday night's game against Burnley. I mean, there's no surprises here. It has to be 4-4-2. I'm still fuming that Hughes reverted back to the wing-back formation against Tottenham. And of course, we all know what happened there. It was an absolute disaster. It's one of the worst offensive displays I've seen us uh, play since we've been in the Premier League. It was an absolute shocker. If he plays the wing-back formation again tomorrow, I officially give up. I don't know what he's seeing in this this particular formation because it clearly is rubbish and it's not working. There's gaps everywhere. Naturally, if I was picking the first 11, it obviously would be 4-4-2. I'd go with Butland in net. Left back would be Eric Peters. Um, centre backs, I would go with Ryan Shaw, Cross and Zuma. Vimmer, he's just not doing it at the moment for me. I, I think he's... He's not played horrendously since he's come in, but I just can't get away from the fact that he cost us £18 million. I just think that is bizarre. I mean, he's got to improve, improve quick to justify that price tag. So yeah, centre-backs will be Zoom and Ryan Shawcross. Right back, I will go with Jeff Cameron. I don't think it's his best position, but I certainly think that it's um, a position we need covering effectively. I don't really rate Zoom at right back, and obviously I've pulled him across so he's in the centre, but I think Cameron will do a decent job at right back. Moving further forwards, uh, midfield will be Ramadan Sobi on the left. Right midfield will be Shaq. Um, and then up front, I will go with Crouch and Berahino. Now, I know for a fact he will not play Berahino. He'll play Juve, and I'm not dropping Juve because I think he's been poor. But I'm just so desperate to see Berahino play up front with Crouch. I really think, as I've said a million times before, there is a decent potential for them to as a partnership. And, and as good as, you know, Juve does and he does chip in with our goal here and there, I appreciate that. I just don't think he's a long-term solution for Stoke. Whereas I think Berahino, he's still young. Uh, we bought him for £12 million. We were chasing him for several seasons. So I just think, let's play him. Let's play him to his strength. And that is up front with somebody, and I think Peter Crouch will complement him perfectly. So quickly to go over that again, Jack Bond in net, left back Eric Peter, centre backs of Ryan Shawcross and Kurt Zuma, right back will be Jeff Cameron, midfield left to right will be Ramon Amsobi, Fletcher, Joe Allen, Shakiri, and up front Crouch and Berahino. Um, I doubt he'll play Berahino, but I think there's a very good chance he will play 4-4-2, and it is about time if he does. A massive, massive game for Stoke, but more specifically Mark Hughes. This could be Mark Hughes' last week at Stoke if these results don't go for him. Um, I'm, I'm not that hopeful, if I'm honest. How can I be after what I've, we, we've been watching recently? The fence has to tighten up, and it has to tighten up now.